Marcus Whitman. Today is Friday, October 16th, 2020. It is a C day. I'm Amelia Rasmussen, and here's your WCAT News. Attention seniors, if you have not completed the t-shirt form on your Schoology page, please do so. Remember, senior box forms are due today, October 16th. In addition, please also remember that baby pictures are due October 23rd and senior portraits and candidates are due on October 30th. Attention freshmen, there are some extra middle school yearbooks available. If you would like to purchase one, please contact Mrs. Nelson in the middle school office at dnelson at mwcsd.org. They are $20 each and checks can be made out to MW Yearbook Club. Envirothon is holding its annual Trex Plastic Drive. Like last year, boxes are located around the school, including in front of Mrs. Robertson's room. Teachers, students, and staff members are welcome to contribute. If you have any questions, are interested in joining Envirothon, or know of any bulk plastic to donate, please feel free to see Mrs. Robertson or Mr. Pragel. The Marcus Whitman High School Drama Club will be holding a drive through chicken barbecue on Friday, October 23rd, from 2.30 to 6 p.m. in the high school parking lot bus loop. Tickets are $10 a meal and can be per purchased from any high school drama club member or by seeing Mr. G in room 310. Attention sophomores, it's time to order your class rings. You can order any time, but those who order by October 30th will receive special gifts, including some Whitman gear. Check your Schoology page and email for regular updates the next few weeks and information on how to size your finger and place orders. If you did not get a packet, please see Ms. Mitchell or Mrs. Ayers with any questions. The five-hour course has been postponed until October 21st and 22nd in order to give students more time to get signed up. The course will be offered from 3.30 till 6 on both days. The course will be taught virtually for all students. If you have internet issues, please contact Mr. Prusinowski at pprusinowski at mwcsd.org or talk to him in person for accommodations. Students must attend both classes. You must have a valid driver's permit and pre-registration is required. Now here's a look at the weather with Earth Network's online weather center. Today will be mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers, highs in the lower 50s. Over the weekend, it will be partly sunny both days with highs in the mid 50s. Attention any student that ordered a yearbook last year and did not receive it. Please see your ninth period teacher. If you would like to purchase one, please see Mr. Rowe or Mr. G. Now here's your Wildcat Sports Roundup. The Whitman girls swim team were in Phelps on Tuesday to take on the Midlake Screaming Eagles. The Wildcats and Eagles were tied at 36 at the halfway point of the meet, but Midlakes pulled away for a 109-71 win. Taking first for Whitman were Alana Kearse in diving and Zoe Dean in the 100 breaststroke. Amy Smithling set a new Midlakes pool record while winning the 100, the 100 back. Amy was a double winner, taking the 50 free as well. The Wildcats are home in their next meet Saturday at 11 a.m. against the Newark Reds. Spectators will be limited to two per athlete. The girls' varsity tennis team defeated Naples and Newark on Monday night. Both points were taken by Katie Goodman and Evelyn Bergstresser. Chloe Babcock and Carrie Hansen won their doubles match against Naples. Caitlin Hopper won her match versus Newark, and Jasmine Johnson picked up her first win as a Wildcat tennis player. Awesome job, ladies! Student Council has some very exciting news. We will be having our first Spirit Week starting Monday, so that everyone has a chance to participate we will be running it for two weeks. Here are the dress up days. Monday and Tuesday are solid color day. Wear any color you want from head to toe. Wednesday is wild pet day. Thursday and Friday are decades day. Dress up in your favorite day. Monday and Tuesday the following week is pajama day. Wednesday the following week is wildcat day. And Thursday the following week is a half day in Halloween dress up. Send photos of your outfits to Mrs. Cooney or any student council member. Attention all Envirothon members. The next meeting is Monday, October 19th during 10th period. Zoom links are available on our Schoology page. Here are this week's meetings and events.
And finally, next week, next week is National Digital Citizenship Week. At the high school, we will be having different digital citizenship activities to celebrate and opportunities for you to win some prizes. Stay tuned. That's it for today, Wildcats. This has been Amelia Rasmussen with your WCAT News. Have a great day, and as always, be humble and kind.